This is the ODU Coaches Show, sponsored by Chartway Federal Credit Union. Well, hard to believe, but we have reached the final game of the 2022 campaign. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show. Alongside Coach Ronnie, I'm Mark Davis. And Coach, going into the final game, what's the message to the team here? Yeah, just finish. You know, I mean, I think that that's the one thing we have to do. I thought uh, we took some strides in that last week. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, we didn't start that game the way we wanted to, but we did finish um, doing some good things. And, and, and obviously, you know, we outscored our, our opponent there 14-3 in the second half. We just, you know, we can't dig a, that big a hole um, in, in the first half. But, you know, it's really about finishing and, and uh, you know, being able to play physical and know, hey, you won't strap the pads on for you know four more months, right. and even then, it's only for 13 practices, so um, or 12 practices really, um, because the pads aren't on in the other three of this uh, of spring ball. So it's about uh, this is the opportunity we have right now, and 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 we better take advantage of it because you don't know when you're going to get it again. Well, and you mentioned it right there, no quit in your guys coming down the stretch there at App State speaks to their character, what I would guess. Yeah, you know, I was proud of them. Uh, you know. Uh, it was a pretty spirited halftime, um, but the guys came out and they responded pretty well. And, uh, you know, I was, I, was, I was proud about that. I mean, obviously, um, I thought there were some other opportunities that we could have had. You know, we, we get down there and uh, uh, probably we should have been able to get some points out of the one uh, you know where we turned it over inside the 10 yard line there and then and then we turned you know we turned the ball over uh, inside the 25 another time and, and so you know we just we didn't come away with the points when we needed to uh, or else you know that, that that's a different dynamic there at the end of that game. A bright spots Javon Harvey his emergence this year has definitely got to have you guys feeling good going forward. Yeah I think the, 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 there was a couple wideouts that made some plays you know I mean uh, Dietz made some plays there uh, especially in that last drive. Um, I thought he did some good things I thought you know Blake Watson in the passing game uh, did some excellent things uh, I thought he made some real impacts catching the ball which I always knew that he that he could um, you know so we, we were able to get some production out of some different guys in that game. You talk about production, different guys. Jason Henderson goes down. Defense has to step up. Overall, how pleased were you with the way other guys stepped up in his absence? Well, we only gave up three points there in the second half yeah. and uh, without him in there. So I thought the guys, you know, played well, made some plays. Um, you know, we gave up a few too many rushing yards probably on that last four-minute drive. But other than that, uh, you know, in the second half of that game, you know, we played pretty darn well. Uh, best total offense yardage output since that Georgia Southern game back on October 22nd. I would imagine that's a good sign heading into this season finale here on Saturday. Yeah, we were able to run the ball a little bit, um, and then we were able to hit some deep, you know, some deeper throws. Our, our explosive play percentage was, was up there pretty high. Um, you know, that was really the story of the game. We were able to, con you know, create some explosive plays on offense. We, we allowed too many on defense in the first half, and, and, and that, that got us. You know, other, you know, our defense played very, very consistent. Um, we just allowed those, you know, those three explosive plays that got us. Do you tell the guys to hang on to this feeling of missing the postseason so they can use that as any sort of churning or motivation or, or to let light the fire going into 2023? I think it's, 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 it's sticky, right? Because like mm -hmm. you do that and, and, and it's just a negative gnawing feeling the whole time where you've got to have some, you know, some personal pride but you also have to I mean there's got to be other reasons why you're trying to get there right I mean there's got to be some some internal drive and I think that that's the thing that I'm really going to stress on in, in the off season is like we've got to find our, our internal drive in order to make us go each and every day hard as we possibly can tomorrow is your last Sunbelt game what are your impressions of this league having now played in for it for, in, in it for a full season well I mean it was what I thought it was going to be before. Right. I mean, it's, it's it's lived up to it. I yeah, guess. I mean, it's the, definitely the the, the toughest uh, you know group of five conference. I mean, <laughs> I'll put us against some power five teams too. I mean, I'm, I'm I know that I've got buddies in other conferences and they've got some crossover tape against our our conference and they're like, man, I'm glad I'm not playing in that conference. So uh, it, it is a it's a very uh, difficult. Uh, league but it's it's great opportunity for us you get great you get tested from a schematic standpoint from a player standpoint all the time I mean it, it's 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 a great challenge that we should all look forward to and that final test tomorrow against South Alabama on the road we're going to catch up with coach about the Jaguars when the Chartway Old Dominion football coaches show continues right after this here's Aiden Wolf to throw looking for it all down the near side that's Harvey goes up makes the catch touchdown Javon Harvey 
Community Conversations, News 3, WHRO Public Media, and iHeartRadio work together to shine a light on important issues in our community. Protecting our children in school is a major concern for all families. Our first community conversation brought together community leaders, parents, students, and educators to talk about the challenges, but to also share ideas on how we can improve safety in school. Watch for more community conversations from News 3, WHRO Public Media, and iHeartRadio. At Chartway, part of our mission is to support and give back. We've raised over $14 million to help children facing medical hardship and provided nearly $380,000 in awards to Chartway student members. Chartway, the official credit union of ODU Athletics. Don't miss the ODU Coaches Show with head coach Ricky Ronnie. Now in the Sun Belt Conference, the competition is fierce. Get the game plan on this week's matchup Friday nights at 7.30, only on News 3, sponsored by Chartway Federal Credit Union. This is Todd. And this is Sarah. Hey, she's leaving for Paris. But this isn't your classic holiday rom-com. It's a Nissan event ad. Seriously? Featuring the Nissan Rogue. And more standard power than a CRV. This is a love emergency. Don't let true love or these offers get away. Get $500 holiday bonus cash on select models. Bring your property shoreline back to life with the help of Shorebreak Marine, the paradise people. Shorebreak Marine is the area's premier waterfront construction company, specializing in bulkheads, boat slips, and fixed or floating piers and docks. With over 50 years of experience, the Shorebreak Marine experts and engineers will revitalize your waterfront property, making it safe and enjoyable for years to come. Contact Shorebreak Marine today. Shorebreak Marine, the paradise people. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Santa, what are you doing here? I need help with the jewelry on my nice list. You'll find the best selection of jewelry at Santa's favorite helper, Nathan's Winhaven Pond. Happy Holidays! Arrested 10 years ago for a crime he says he didn't do. Now, this former Chesapeake basketball coach is finally going home. Thank you, Jessica Lache. Without you, my story would not have been magnified to this height. News 3 investigator Jessica Larche first broke the story, working tirelessly for more than a year, uncovering evidence, discrepancies, pushing his story all the way to the governor's desk. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> News 3 investigates, gets results. First and 10, Hayden Wolf and the Monarchs, ball on the 25-yard line of App State. Another throw coming up, down the middle, for it all, has a man, pass, caught, touchdown, Old Dominion, and who made that catch? It was Javon Harvey. The familiar voice of Ted Alexander on the call there, 94.1, the Old Dominion Sports Radio Network. If you can't catch it on ESPN+, Plus, be sure to tune in to Ted tomorrow. And tomorrow, Coach, are the Jaguars of South Alabama. We'll give us a scouting report on them, if you will. Yeah, I mean, very good defense. Uh, they blitz, you know, around 60% of the time, 65% of the time. I mean, really, their base defense is to blitz. Um, they've got some uh, very physical players. They, they play with... Uh, great violence. Their their linebackers, you know, will run and hit uh, inside defensively. They they do a great job of disengaging uh, with their hands and doing those sort of things. Uh, they disguise coverages uh, pretty well in the back end, and 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 can and uh, you know that helps them be able to cover and, and do some things there. Um, so they've been very good on defense. On offense, they're they're very very balanced. Yeah. I mean, they have three receivers that have over 600 yards receiving. Mm -hmm. I mean, that that's pretty impressive right there. And then they have a tailback that's done a great job for him. Um, he's been a little nicked up. Uh, recently, but you know, I mean, he, he's he's done a great job for him. Then they got an experienced quarterback, a transfer quarterback that, that's done some good things for him, well, and and then they've got a big offensive line. So, I mean, it's going to be a great challenge for us. Um, looking forward to it. A very balanced overall team. It's a total team. They look like a nine and two team. They kind of back that up, as you mentioned, the three receivers, balanced attack, uh, strong total defense near the top in the conference of both offense and defense. Mm -hmm. Is this one among the most total teams you've played this year? Yeah, I mean, I think they've done a really nice job. I mean, overall, um, just being able to 
you know, play complementary football with each other. I mean, I think it starts with their defense, um, and their offense is, is, is obviously very talented, um, but they, they're also smart enough they're not going to take undue risks and things like that. They know they've got a good defense, so that allows them to, to, to be patient on offense and, and run the ball and then take their shots with play action and, and take some shorter plays where they can get the balls to those wide outs and things like that. So they've done a nice job of building that team. I guess you could say this about every game, but you look at this game and they're second in red zone offense. You guys are first in red zone defense when it comes to the Sun Belt Conference. Is this one that's going to be decided in the red zone? I think it's obviously that's a big part of it. I think, you know, the other one is third down. Sure. You know, I mean, I think if you look at the stats on both of those, we've got to make sure that, uh, you know, they're a very good third down team on both sides of the ball, and, 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 and we've got to come up uh, big on third down. Uh, two losses by a combined five points, including one against UCLA. So mm -hmm. here's a team that even when they did lose, it really wasn't by much, and they were right in the game. So you're dealing with a team that's in every game coming up here. Yeah, and very confident team. Yeah. Right? I mean, they play confident. You can see that the way they, they play on tape. I mean, they're coming downhill. They're very confident in their assignments, and, and, and they do it with you know, speed and violence. And, and uh, so, you know, looking forward to that challenge. Should be a great challenge. And I, I know our guys are you know, looking forward to getting one more opportunity to play. And, you know, this team's playing possibly for a division title. Yeah. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're really a, a half game behind, I guess you'd say it. So uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be an interesting deal, but our guys are looking forward to it. Yeah, lost to Troy 10 to 6 in their only conference loss. Uh, head coach Kane Womack, I mean, it's a guy, youngest coach in the FBS, I think. He's doing pretty well up there. Uh, he's really has the guys going pretty well. Yeah. Uh, coached against Kane before when he was the defense coordinator in Indiana. Um, you know he's done some he's done some good things. He was always a hard guy to play against in those sort of situations as well. And and so he's taken uh, you know some of the principles from Coach Allen and, and brought him down there. And and uh, they've worked pretty well. You know I think that you know they've they've done a nice job of getting the right guys in the transfer portal. They also have a great recruiting area that mm -hmm. they can that they can live in. And, and they've done a nice job on that. What are a couple things you're looking to see here in the uh, specific things you're looking to see in the final game? Yeah, I want to see us just play really physical on every snap. I mean. You know, you've got four months to rest up, all right? <laughs> so uh, let's just be physical on every single snap and take it to them and, and know that, you know, for some of our guys, let's just be honest, this will be the last game of football some of our guys ever play. And uh, so we've got to make sure that we're being physical on every snap. You know, we've got to be accountable. Right, to each other and, 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 and you know to the person we say and the player we say we want to be, we've got to be accountable to that and then we've got to finish. I mean, those are the three things that, that we have to do in order to be successful and, and that's going to be critical in the game. And you guys will put that to the test tomorrow at noon at South Alabama, the final game of the 2022 regular season. That's noon on ESPN+. Plus. If you overdraw your account, Wells Fargo gives you an extra day grace period to avoid the overdraft fee. What if everything came with a grace period? Like accidentally parking where you shouldn't. Hey, what about this one? Nah, that one gets an extra day. Somebody got lucky. Like having an extra day grace period? When it comes to overdrafts, you can with Wells Fargo. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want and the capability you need to do the job so you can get to the important work. Find new moments, find new roads. Get $1,500 total cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine. Plus, unlock your code to claim $500 Chevy CyberCash. Visit ChevyCyberCash.com today. Here's a high school hoop success story that almost didn't happen. My favorite move is an in and out and a crossover. Camden's always loved playing basketball. Her feet, not so much. I would get a lot of like shin splints, uh, cramps. My feet were like betraying me. So her mom took her in for a fitting at the Good Feet store. Now she's got two rings and two clutch arch supports. They're my secret weapon. I use them every single day. Stop by for your free fitting at the Good Feet store. Your Hampton Roads Honda dealers are thankful for your dedication to keeping all of us safe. And when you're with your family, we're proud to offer the safety and security that Honda is known for. We appreciate your service. Honda, the perfect ride for Hampton Roads. Every day, the sun rises, and our water is clean. 
our packages arrive. And our lights turn on, all thanks to federal employees. And as a nonprofit association, you're the reason GEHA puts members first, all two million of them. Because everything GEHA stands for starts with you. GEHA. No two hometowns are exactly the same, but they all have one thing in common. People committed to making them better. And steel has been a part of those hometowns for over half a century. Help us support our communities, our neighbors, our friends. Shop local. Real steel. Find yours. This is the ODU Coaches Show, sponsored by Chartway Federal Credit Union. Well, as discussed, the final game of the 2022 regular season. We dove in with the players about taking on the Jaguars of South Alabama and trying to end the 2022 campaign with a win. Our mindset is basically going one and know, like Coach Ronnie says, um, just going out there and fighting hard. I think that the team does understand. We've been we've been talking about it in the meetings and everything, but. Um, it's a blessing to get up every day and play this sport and um, to have an opportunity to go out and have a game. I mean, you're guaranteed 12 games a season, so that's 12 days you get to go out and actually just compete with everything you got and do the sport you love. And I think that our guys are definitely going to go out there and do that on Saturday and hopefully come away with a win. What would it mean for you guys to be able to cap this off with a win? Uh, it'll mean it'll be very big for us, you know, for the program and for everyone. Oh, you just heard from the players. Now we're going to dive in with Coach with some of your questions. First one coming from Zach in Norfolk. He'd like to know what's your off-season routine, Coach? Yeah, uh, we don't really have an off-season. It's never the same, uh, right? No, I mean, it, so, I mean, we, you know, right when this thing gets done, there's a new rule where, you know, we have a few days not off, but where you can't go recruiting. Uh, so we'll meet with all the players during that time, and then we get in the road and go recruiting. Um, you know, you get a couple... A little time off there for Christmas, um, you know, and, and uh, I mean, to be honest with you, this is my first uh, non-bowl season in a long time, right. so this is going to be a little different for me. Yeah. So uh, it, it's, it's, it's going to be a little different, so I've got to get adjusted to that. Um, I don't ever want to get used to it. Right. So, uh, I, hopefully this is the last one I ever have, um, but it is, it, that one's going to be a little different. But, you know, and then we get into January and, you know, we're going to be you know, self-scouting ourselves and, and, and still recruiting and um, as we go into February and then preparing for spring ball and, you know, start it all over again. Yeah, no doubt at all. And like you said, some uncharted territory that hopefully you don't have to deal with uh, uh, anytime soon again. Uh, holiday questions here. Allie in Newport News, what's on your Thanksgiving plate? Uh, well, obviously turkey. Mm -hmm. I'm, more of a, I'm more of a dark meat guy. Okay. Um, yeah, so turkey and then I'll go... Uh, Mashed potatoes and gravy. I, I put my corn in my mashed potatoes. Yeah, okay. Um, you do the mix. I mix it all yep. up. And then uh, uh, stuffing. I prefer wet stuffing. If it's dry, then I'm going to put a ton of gravy on it. Right. So. Me, you're going to make it wet. Yeah, it doesn't right. matter, right? <laughs> uh, obviously, pumpkin pie. got to have that. Um, I'm not a big yam guy, but I'll do that. Uh, green bean casserole is usually on the, on the thing. I don't like cranberry sauce, cause I, but I don't know why, because I actually like cranberries. But sure. I don't really know what, what came of that. I don't know if I didn't used to like the shape of the can outline <laughs> on it or what was going on there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it, any of those sort of things. I mean, uh, and then later in the day, we have what's called thank you G's, which is you basically take a piece of bread, lightly toast it, put all the stuff that was on your thing, and then put a piece of bread on top of it, gravy on top, and then you eat it. Okay. Yeah. That's like your, how you deal with leftovers? Yeah. That's, oh. how, that's, that's the second meal. Yeah. No, good, good. Very, very, very good plan. I'm sure there are people out there taking notes. Finally, from Randy from Virginia Beach, uh, what's on your Christmas list, Coach? <laughs> Uh, nothing. Yeah, I don't. I don't have anything, and I know that <laughs> sounds crazy, but like I have everything I need. Um, I, I, I actually, I, I really do. Like I try to get people to not buy me things. Sure. Right. Like just spend that money on yourself or whatever, and, and I don't need anything. And and because I feel like every time I get stuff in Christmas, and um, 
I don't use it, right? I mean, so then I just have stuff around the house that I don't need or use. If it's going to be anything, it'll maybe be like a suit or something like yeah. that, you know, something that I actually am going to use <laughs> the next year. But other than that, I really, really don't have anything. Yeah, it's different. A Christmas list are different when you get to be an adult. I've noticed that, too. It's definitely what, what do I need, not what do I want. <laughs> Correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, Coach, we want to thank you so much for joining us all season long. Yeah. We've had a, a lot of fun with you here, and thanks so much for kind of giving us the inside look throughout the season. And if you guys have any questions for Coach you want to put in the queue for next year, just email askthecoach at WTKR.com. Still to come, a local product making a big impact and bursting onto the scene. News 3's Zach Staten catches up with Javon Harvey. Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show continues right after this. CBS invites you <gasps> Santa's snow globe to a new holiday classic. Oh, I'm in deep, Coco. Christmas might not happen because of me. Can you help me fix this? I'm in. It's never too late for a Christmas miracle. Reindeer in here, premiering Tuesday, 9, 8 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. For the first day of the holidays, check a flag gave to me a three-day money-back guarantee. On that same day of the holidays, check a flag gave to me no haggles or commissions and a three-day money-back guarantee. On that exact same day of the holidays, check a flag gave to me lifetime oil changes, no haggles or commissions and a three-day money-back guarantee. At Chartway, part of our mission is to support and give back, bring hope, and do good every day. We've raised over $14 million to help children facing medical hardship, awarded $25,000 annually to Old Dominion's Athletic Scholarship Fund, and provided nearly $380,000 in awards to other Chartway student members. At Chartway, our people first mindset is about doing what's right and what's kind, unlocking potential to help everyone thrive. Chartway, the official credit union of ODU Athletics. Attention, were you exposed to the toxic water at Camp Lejeune? Congress has just passed the Camp Lejeune Justice Act, which makes billions of dollars available to victims of the toxic water supply. If you or your family were exposed, you may be entitled to a share of that money. If you lived or worked at Camp Lejeune, even if you're not military, and have suffered any of these serious health problems, call 1-800-952-9400. That's 1-800-952-9400. At CHKD, we depend on the generous support of our community. This Giving Tuesday, November 29th, you can make a real difference for local kids and families. So we can be there for every child who needs us. From primary care to life-saving surgeries to comprehensive mental health care. Help bring health, healing, and hope to all children across the region. Go online to chkdgiving.org and make a gift for Hampton Roads kids. Thank you to our sponsors, Langley Federal Credit Union, Steele, and Cavalier Ford Lincoln for your continued support. Want more mouth-watering recipes? Absolutely delicious. How about the latest fitness trends? It can help calm us, improve our mood. Financial tips? People who budget will succeed. Go to thelisttv.com and get uninterrupted access to great lifestyle trends, tips, and helpful hints. All at your fingertips. You've got something that looks a little bit more unique. Get what's new, what's now, and what's next. Thelisttv.com. Thanks so much for staying with us here on the Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show. Well, he made noise in high school on the field for Lake Taylor. Now he's doing the same down the road at the college level with Old Dominion. News 3 Zach Staten tells us about the emergence of Javon Harvey. Saturday afternoons in the fall have significance beyond the boundaries for Lake Taylor product and Old Dominion wide receiver Javon Harvey. When I came to ODU, I was like, this is my like hometown. This is... This is a place I grew up in, and I, I love to play for this team. But since his arrival to campus in 2019, the path to production, a very tough one. Like I had a history of drops, and it just came from confidence. I think he's overcome 
Um, early in the year, he might have had a drop here or there, and then that kind of affected the way he played, not on special teams, but on offense. But being a Norfolk kid trying to represent his home with pride, the last thing on Harvey's mind was giving up. Investing, continue to believe in it, investing in it, and growing, becoming a better player, studying, fam. That investment showing more and more as the 2022 season winds down. After not hauling in a pass in three of the first four games for the Monarchs this season, Harvey has brought in 26 catches for more than 500 yards and scored his first three collegiate touchdowns in the last seven games. Just believing for real and just knowing, understanding my opponent and then putting the details together. A potential springboard for 2023. Just focus on like playing the game, understanding the game and all that will come with it. And me, I, I, can, I can be a great leader to the one that's behind me as well. The last four or five games, um, even a play that maybe wasn't up to his standard, he's able to bounce back and, and have it and still have a great day. The bumpy road to being a consistent threat on the field is paying off for the Titan turned monarch playing in his backyard. Going out there executing, just playing with my brothers, taking advantage of every opportunity there. Zach State, News 3 Sports. A big congratulations to the 24 Old Dominion seniors, many likely playing in their final game for the Monarchs tomorrow. Tight end Dante Anthony, he's played 46 games in the silver and blue, pulling in 27 catches for 281 yards. Tyree Bibby, a defensive tackle and two-year starter, he's tallied 43 career tackles. Damian Charity, a Phoebus product, a cornerback who has been a key special teams contributor during his time at Old Dominion. Tobias Harris, a transfer who burst onto the scene. Harris leading all active college football players with 18 interceptions. Trey Hawkins starting 43 career games for the Monarchs. The Texas native is currently sixth on the team in tackles and is second in the country with three fumble recoveries. Defensive end Marcus Haynes starting the previous 11 games and has set a career high in tackles this season. He leads ODU active players with 15 career sacks. Ryan Henry has made his presence known at linebacker, tying for the team lead with four sacks and has 131 career tackles. Pocosin's Colton Hicks, an important special teams player, primarily on kickoff and punt return. Offensive lineman Gary Hoover saw time in five games this season, getting his first career start at Georgia State. Also on the line, Tyron Hunt, who has started 20 games at left guard and been a key anchor to that unit. Ali Jennings leaving his mark on the program in less than two full seasons. The wide receiver soaring into the Monarch top 10 in career catches, receiving yards, and touchdowns. Artarian Johnson, a team captain and starting safety, who is second on the team in tackles. Zach Kuntz will depart after being one of the most productive members of the ODU offense during his tenure. Kuntz earning all Conference USA first team honors last year. Luke Lindenfelder seeing the field in all 11 games thus far. You'll see him work primarily on special teams units. Norfolk's own DJ Mack starting six games at quarterback in 2021 and playing a key role in certain offensive packages this season. He's a dual threat, both passing and running the football. John Morton, a long snapper and holder who has appeared in all but one game throughout the last two seasons. Wide receiver Aaron Moore leaves as the Old Dominion single game record holder for receptions, pulling in 14 catches during a 2019 game at Middle Tennessee. Austin Mosier has been in the silver and blue for four years and serving as the backup center in 2022. Brandon Ruff may have suffered a career-ending injury, but he's stayed on with the team, serving as a student assistant coach for the last two years. Nick Saldaveri, a three-year starter on the offensive line. In last year's regular season finale against Charlotte, he would recover a fumble for a touchdown. Dominic Seuss is Old Dominion's kickoff specialist, delivering touchbacks on 36% of his kicks. Gloucester product Isaiah Spencer playing in all 11 games this season, starting five at tight end. He's pulled in 16 catches this year, including a touchdown. Running back Blake Watson becoming just the second player in program history to rush for more than 1,000 yards last season. He enters tomorrow 197 yards short of back-to-back 1,000-yard -back campaigns. And we wrap up with Stephen Williams, who has seen time at quarterback, wide receiver, and linebacker throughout his career. He's been a Monarch since the 2017 campaign. And that wraps up this season finale of the Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show. Thanks so much for joining us all season long. For Zach Staten, I'm Mark Davis. Have a great offseason, everybody.